can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proud. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the world's the world. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, nice left hand there. Oh, nice kick. Was that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique but done the right way. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh my goodness, that front leg kick. That front kick was nasty. Oh. Back and forth we go. with a straight left that landed flush. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put a foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Great block there. He is cut above the eye here. Just over two minutes, round one. Take your time, relax, 
beautiful body kick. Oh, nice counter. Yes. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Nice one, two there. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Back kick there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Good defense blocking that punch. One minute to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, massive kick, Lance Flush. Both oh, fighters starting to open up a little bit. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Final seconds here. Nice body kick there. Second round, straight ahead. Hey, stop. All right, there's the horn, so the round is over, but not before the fighter sustained that cut on his forehead. We'll see if the cut man can close it up and prevent it from becoming an issue here into the latter rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Clean punch right there. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. It's going to be a short night if you take many of those head kicks. Three minutes and change to go in round two. <laughs> nice shot. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out 
process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice body shot. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Ninety seconds to go. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to him. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Nice punch to the head. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give one. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, 10 minutes oh. in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh. Oh. Lands a big right hand there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful straight right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. I don't know how many times he hit the head and stay in this fight. That punch, no good. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. 
Great job. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Able to land there with the straight left. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Big clinch. Watch him shift and try to start getting his punches up. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it's, it's natural. you got to check these kicks right now, or that's going to happen. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the limit down. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, it's... Oh, no! Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And he continues to work the body here. One minute now to go in the third. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, oh big left hand there. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. 15 seconds to go. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, Ready. and he can end anybody's Ready. night. The toughest displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Straight punch. Useful. He does everything so well, and he's so tall. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Jab, cross, right here, go! Good advice. Oh! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh, oh. Oh, nice body. 
All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. Oh! And there it is! That's one of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.